in this video, I'll show you how to connect your WooCommerce store to your eBay store so you can tap in to the eBay marketplace to generate sales, not only from your website, but also from the eBay marketplace. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. For example, I'll show you how you can push all your products from your WooCommerce store onto your eBay account. For example, I'll just push this item here, which says publish onto our eBay store. And we can verify this by clicking view on eBay. And then here we can see our item on our eBay store. So I'll show you how you can achieve a similar result on your WooCommerce store. Okay, so this particular video is based on this article here on the AOVOp.com blog. So I'll leave a link in the description below in the event that you want to follow along to the written version. All right. So now the first step we need to do is to log into our dashboard and go ahead and install this particular plugin here. I'm going to head over to our dashboard here and I'm just going to, going to copy this name. Then we'll navigate over to plugins, add new, and then we'll go ahead and search for this plugin. Okay, it's this one here. Let's go ahead and activate it. Okay, so now we just need to navigate over to where it says eBay and then we'll go settings. Now we'll click on account to go ahead and connect our eBay account. We'll select our eBay store. We'll go ahead and select the eBay country. So here it's the UK. Now we'll go ahead and connect our store. Now click fetch eBay token. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and create our template. So we'll navigate over to templates and click add new. Okay. And then from here, we can go ahead and customize our eBay template. We can add our site logo. We can display the product gallery. We can also display the product title and description. We can display our shipping information, uh, delivery time, and also our payment information. For example, you can add a about us section so customers know a bit about your brand or store. Once you're happy with the changes, just go ahead and hit save template. And that's saved fine. And with that out of the way, the next step is to go ahead and create a listing profile. So we'll just navigate over to profiles. So essentially, this will allow you to specify the type of format you want to list your product in. For example, it could be an auction format with a buy now price, or it could just be a buy now price, right? You can specify the duration, you can specify the category, you can specify the shipping and the payment methods and so much more, right? So you can create multiple different listing profile to cater to the different products you've got in your store. Okay, so we'll just click add new. We can go ahead and name our profile. It's just for internal purposes. And then we can go ahead and specify the type, whether it's an auction or whether we want to do a fixed price, for example, a set buy now price, right? So for example, we can add the starting price here. We can go ahead and add a buy now price. And let's just leave this fixed price for now. We can specify the dispatch information and so on. We can select the eBay category. Um, so essentially, this is the type of stuff that you're actually entering on your eBay account. So we're just mapping these settings to how we want to display it on our eBay store. OK, so just go through each option and then just configure it according to your needs. Right. OK, and we'll we'll assign this profile to our template, which we created here. OK, you can create multiple different profiles and templates to match the type of listing that you want to create on your eBay account. Hit save profile. OK, and that's our first profile saved. So now let's go ahead and actually push a product to our eBay store. Let's quickly double check what products we've actually got on our eBay store before we do anything. So we'll go. OK, and we can see our products here. OK, so now let's head over to products and then all products. And I'm going to go ahead and push this particular product to our eBay store. So I'm going to select it. You can select multiple products as well. And then we'll head up here and then we'll say list on eBay. OK, and then just hit apply. We'll select our profile. OK, and currently it's preparing to list this particular product on eBay. To preview it, we need to navigate over to eBay here and then listing. OK, and here you can see this particular product is pending to go on our eBay store. So let's go ahead and preview this. OK, so this is how it will look. This looks fine. So I'm happy with everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit publish. So here is displaying some errors um, regarding my eBay store. OK, so it could be the payment method, right? 
So let's head back over to profiles again. I'm going to edit this profile. So in this profile, I actually selected a PayPal. However, I've got no payment methods set up on my eBay account. So I think that could be why it's throwing out an error. So I'm just going to select to use um, eBay manage payment. Let's update this. Okay, so it's saying the quantity is not valid. And it's also saying we've got a policy violation in our description. So it's using HTTP, right? And it needs to be HTTPS, okay? And here it's saying we only need to enter in a portion of our postcode. So let's try and fix those issues and then let's try again. Okay, so for the postcode, let's enter in our partial postcode here. So again, the issue with quantity, I don't think we've got stock management enabled on this WooCommerce store. So for our products, we can sell it an unlimited amount of times, whereas typically you'd have managed quantities, right? So I guess those are the two errors. And then the other error it was saying was the basically our website's not secure. So let's go to templates and let's review the description and let's see if we can make some changes there. Okay, yeah, so for example here, this particular um, logo where it's saying your logo should go here. This is actually a HTTP link, right? So it needs to be a secure link. So I'm going to head over here and let's just replace it with our actual logo, which should be HTTPS. That's the only issue. So let's save this template. Let's try push this to our store. So the HTTP issue has been resolved. However, it's still saying that we need to display only a portion of our postcode. Oh, okay. So here for the country, we've got this set to the USA. So let's change this to the UK, right? And then here for the quantity override. So again, I didn't notice this. So before it was using the quantity on our store, but as I said, we were not using uh, the managed quantity on our store. So that's why it's showing as zero. So here, if we actually select custom quantity, then it will show this quantity here, right? However, in your case, if on your store, you've actually entered in the quantity per product, um, then you shouldn't run into this issue. Once more, let's hit save profile and let's go listing and let's try push this to our store. All right, so we're automatically syncing our quantity from our WooCommerce store to our eBay. Um, let's navigate over to this product here. And let's actually enter in how much stock we've got for this product. So we go inventory, right? See, so currently it's just showing us in stock, but we need to actually enable um, a track stock quantity. And then here we can go ahead and set the quantity. So we could say six and let's hit update. All right. So now let's head over to eBay and then listing and let's push this sunglasses to our store. Okay, so we've been able to publish this item successfully. So let's go ahead and view it on our eBay account. Okay, and we can see it here, right? So it's working as expected. So when we scroll down, we're able to see our template here. Okay, so everything's looking good. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.